Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to Next Gen Tech. Uh, we're back with another tutorial on software defined radio. Uh, this is our tutorial on software defined radio. Pe. Uh, isme hum, uh, we will tell you the cheapest way to test antennas. What is the cheapest way? How you can test antenna? You don't need to buy VNA or Vector Network Analyzer, which is very costly or equipment. Uh, costly equipment so you can simply use hack rf to test your antennas as you can see we have uh, at least one two three four five six six different type of antennas and we're going to check this using hack rf basically what we're going to do is this game we're going to simply start our application uh, which is gqrx simply gqrx we have our application and we have our hack rf plugged in on the other side um, simply by monitoring the different frequencies just like that on a specific channel of, uh, of uh, Wi-Fi which is 2.441 gigahertz we will monitor with uh, holding the peak and we are going to see how does the antenna is performing by holding a peak this is what you would start visualizing that you have peak if you have a signal it peak hold that would become a threshold for us Okay, this is the maximum signal strength which is being received by this particular antenna uh, or specifically Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz signal So if I were to look at this particular peak which is peak is maximum IT, this peak right here So this peak ke par jo aapke paas jo signal strength thi, this was somewhere around negative 63 dB We have a spike here हमारे पास एक स्पाइक आ रही है जो roughly around negative 50 के करीब है स्पाइक। So the lower this number is going to be, lower का मतलब ये कि like in negative numbers के अंदर lower numbers। तो so we would know कि हमारी सिग्नल की स्ट्रेंथ बहुत जबरदस्त है। This is basically showing कि what type of Wi-Fi activity at 2.443 gigahertz के ऊपर होती हुई नजर आ रही है। So so this is our antenna four which is plugged in. जो कि हमारे हैक आरएफ के साथ प्लग इन बाय सिंपली रिमूविंग दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सिंपली रिमूव दिस अनस्क्रू दिस एंटेना एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू विजुलाइज द सिग्नल एंड नाउ देयर इज नो एंटेना प्लग इन अगर आपके पास कोई एंटेना प्लग इन नहीं है इस वक्त तो एज यू कैन सी कि आपके पास सिग्नल बिल्कुल बॉटम के ऊपर है इस इस समवेयर अराउंड नेगेटिव 84 डीबी आपका फ्लोर बिल्कुल नीचे नॉइस फ्लोर बिल्कुल नीचे सो दिस वाज दिस एंटेना एंटेना 4 so let's try to plug in this cheap antenna. Let's go and plug it. Uh, just simply screwing into SMA connector, which is provided at the end of Hack RF. Um, now, if I were to look at the particular signal, not a significant performance. This antenna is not performing good. This antenna is not suitable. This particular antenna is not suitable. Uh, uh, this antenna is not suitable for 2.4 gigahertz. But this is you cannot use this antenna to receive 2.4. Yes, you might receive some some signal, कुछ ना कुछ signal आएगा, but it's not an efficient antenna to be used for a Wi-Fi signal reception. So we will simply unscrew this antenna and we will put them here, and then we will plug in antenna number five. I just uh, uh, labeled it at uh, antenna 5 so when you, when I plug this in as you can see this antenna is also not performing well at 2.4 gigahertz uh, you, you can see smaller spikes like you're not seeing the significant difference but you, it's not receiving much of our Wi-Fi signals which are present in air so this antenna is also not performing well this antenna is also not performing well uh, at 2.4 gigahertz. So let's change the antenna again. This is the cheapest and the simplest way to check if your antenna is operating or resonating at a particular desired frequency of your need. So let's just simply plug in. I think our software got hanged. So let's just let me turn this off and turn it on. Uh, not bad. Let's see, let me change the frequency at two. I think it's overclocking. Let me change the sample rate to eight point one nine two. Let's let's restart the software. I think it got hanged. 
and let's see. So with this particular antenna, you can see it's slightly better. It is slightly better. You are seeing more spike. When I have antenna number five, which is plugged in, uh, I can see a little bit better activity on waterfall graph. आपको यहाँ पे थोड़ी थोड़ी नजर आ रही होगी कि you can see कि this is also a better antenna. Let's do a peak hold and let's see कि what is the maximum strength we can get using this. So we can see there are spikes. Which uh, I mean, if you were to look at the structure of it, अगर आप इसका structure देखोगे, it actually corresponds to Wi-Fi channels. Which are available because they are approximately 11 to 14 different channel at 2.4 gigahertz ke band ke upar. So you can see this that this antenna is performing better than uh, the previous two antennas, which are right here. They're performing much better. So let's remove this antenna. Simply removing this antenna, unscrewing it. Let's plug in antenna number three. Let's plug this antenna and see how does this perform. This is really good. I mean, as you can see, now as you can see, there is a lot of activity going on. I mean, this this antenna is receiving a lot of different signals at 2.4 gigahertz. So this is extremely good. As you can see, can we have peak hold at uh, different frequencies somewhere around negative? If this is negative 63, so this is somewhere around negative um, 58 or 59. Somewhere around that, as you can see, there is a lot of activity going on, and as you can also see it in a waterfall graph as well. So this is better antenna. Let's simply unplug this. Let's plug in antenna number two, and let's see how does this perform. This is also a better antenna. Uh, much better antenna, much better performance as compared to previous. Uh, not the previous one, the last three that we have actually looked at. So this is also performing quite well at frequencies around 2.4 gigahertz. So I can easily use this uh, antenna for receiving um, Wi-Fi signals at 2.4 gigahertz. Let's try the other antenna, the last antenna we have. Uh, let's just simply plug this in here. So here we go. This is also another antenna which is also operating at 2.4 gigahertz, which is much better. So if I wanted to use based on the antenna collection that I have for 2.4 gigahertz, अगर मैं इसको इस्तेमाल करूँगा, I will try to avoid this antenna. And I will try to avoid these two antennas. One, two, three, four, five. Any of these five antennas are good at 2.4 gigahertz. इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि ये antenna design ऐसे हुए हैं, ऐसे हुए हैं कि आप उसको 2.4 gigahertz की frequency के ऊपर इस्तेमाल कर सकते हो. We can also visualize this just to give you an idea. If I were to change the frequency, uh, if I go over here and let's just change the frequency of 935 megahertz. I can also use this antenna for GSM frequencies as well. So this antenna works fine. So this is how you actually test them. So the idea is that if you have hack RF or a device or a receiving device that receiving signal from uh, 2.4 gigahertz band, 5.8 gigahertz band. When you buy these antenna, you can easily check them. Uh, you don't have to buy a VNA vector network analyzer, which is an uh, expensive equipment. You can just simply use ZQRX, which is a software-defined radio software, and your hack RF uh, or any device that uh, receives signals or transmits signal at uh, your given frequency. So I hope you like our tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, which is Next Gen Tech, on Facebook, on YouTube, and also Next Gen Underscore Tech at uh, Instagram. Salam alaikum.